Cutie Patootie, who played Kurt on Glee, and while we loved him on screen, Chris Colfer has been focusing on his literary talents as of late, and boy, is it paying off. Welcome, Chris Colfer, and I heard you had a good background, and you were not kidding. You win for best background ever. I love it. Oh, thank you so much. Is that <laughs> a background, or is that like your hard. house? That, this is it's my house, just my Halloween decorations. <laughs> oh, my gosh, yeah. Chris, I love that so much. So. I don't even think we should say Chris anymore. I think we should say New York Times best-selling author Chris Colfer. How does that sound? Hey, I, I will take whatever title I can get these days. <laughs> you know, Chris, the coolest thing is, and I love stories where something good comes out of something bad that happened. I read that when you were young, you spent three, uh, three months in the hospital. And during that time, mm -hmm. you became very, very interested in fiction. And so that kind of mm -hmm. led to your passion. Is that what happened? Absolutely, yeah. I was um, uh, in the hospital for, for quite, quite some time when I was a kid, and uh, my mom used to read me fairy tales uh, um, by my hospital bed, and I was incredibly inquisitive about all the characters and their motives, and I would ask her all of these questions about why they were the way they were, and she eventually got tired of, of trying to uh, answer my questions and said, well, if, you know, if, if, if you're so inquisitive, why don't you just write your own stories? And um, so I did. So. Um, I started writing my, my, my very first series, the Land of Stories series, back when I was a kid. Um, and now I'm writing um, uh, the uh, prequel series to, to that world. Okay, that, now that's great. Now, here's the thing. I know a lot of people that start books, but I don't know a lot of people that finish the books. And you finished 16 books. This is your 16th one. How do you yeah. push through in those difficult moments? Like, what would your advice be? A lot of caffeine, really. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think, you know, it, I think the, the first book is always the hardest. Um, but that feeling that, that you get when you, uh, when, when your first copy of your first book arrives and you get to hold it for the first time, um, I imagine it's, a, it's like what feeling, what, what holding a child feels like. Um, and uh, luckily for me, my books are very popular. So that also kind of gives me a, a little bit of a boost to, uh, to, 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 to get more out there for, for the kids to read. Um, okay, now, because you have 16 books, I mean, you have, like, a long, long, like, wealth of material. Could this ever be turned into a TV series? Uh, actually, we've, we've been in development uh, for, for quite some time for um, a, a film a film, uh, a film, film of the first book, The Land Stories, The Wishing Spell. Um, but um, the pandemic has not done us uh, any uh -huh. favors, so uh, hope, hopefully when things settle down, we can, we can uh, get, get back to it. Okay, is there any way you can take your computer and show me a little bit more of your decorations here? Because I, I can't even focus. I'm so excited about your, <laughs> your background. Is there any oh way God. you can show us any more? Well, I, I actually have it perfectly lined up. The rest is just, <laughs> the rest is just my dining room. <laughs> I understand. Um, uh, but, but, yeah, I, I, can, I can lean this way so you can, you can see it. Uh, okay, how is that sign moving a... behind you? Oh, I have, I have a light set up that I got oh at a gosh. local Halloween store. Chris, yeah, yeah, I should mention that the book has a lot of Halloween themes. That's that's why there's all of this. <laughs> oh my God, it looks so good. Halloween's like one of my favorite holidays. Um, you again, you win for the background. Chris, congratulations! Thank you so much for joining us. And if you guys want to read Land of Stories, a tale of witchcraft, you can check it out anywhere you uh, anywhere you buy your books. And you can also buy tickets to Chris's virtual book tour now at LandofStories.com. All right, we'll be right back after this.